everyone, this is Melanie Ake. And I'm Eric Devante. And you're watching Rishko Network TV. Today we are at the Beverly Hilton in Beverly Hills for the last chance for animals benefit gala. And honestly, I can't think of a better way to spend my Saturday than to be here advocating for the animals. It is a definitely worthy cause. Today we are highlighting those who advocate for animals and those who save animals. So it's such an amazing event. Definitely am not for the inhumane treatment of animals, so I definitely support those who advocate for them. I can't imagine anyone that can abuse a poor kitty or a puppy. I can't. My heart is kind of broken. I know, right? So let's talk to some of the honorees and some of the attendees for this evening. Okay, all right. Let's do it together. I love it. So what drew you to the mission of RCA and, and compelled you to want to be here this evening? Last Chance for Animals is an incredible organization. You know, back when I was a local news anchor in Los Angeles, I saw Chris DeRose and I said, wow, there's a guy who, even though he's a successful actor, cares about more than himself. He's not just about making money and being successful. He's about saving the planet. He's about saving the world. He's about saving animals. And that's really the secret of life. And I said, I want to be like Chris. I love that. I think we all want to be like Chris, right? <laughs> now, do you have any pets? I have three companion chihuahua mixes and a companion cat. Oh, I love it. And, you know, to me, um, if one of us is oppressed, all of us is oppressed. And so we have to really think about what's happening to animals and bring that into the equation. We look at the hurricanes, okay, that are devastating. We look at the wildfires that are devastating so many people. What's causing climate change? Animal agriculture, killing animals. So we've got to make that connection. The leading cause of climate change is animal agriculture. It causes more methane than all transportation combined. So let's please think of the animals and let's not say, oh, if we care about people, we can't care about animals. It's not mutually exclusive. Right. Right. So now that we know that we should care about animals in addition to people, what can we do? What can the average person do? Stop eating them. Right. Stop right. eating that's, them. That's something. Right. <laughs> Thank you so much for speaking Thank with us. Enjoy the show. Okay. Right. Thank you.